the home minister today in parliament also was very clear in fact he went to the extent of saying article 370 almost incentivized terrorism this notion of separateness of special status uh, was seen according to the home minister amit shah as a, a as a reason uh, for uh, for militancy for 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 terror uh, for 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 a demand for a, a independent jammu and kashmir so let's be very clear this government is very clear it's not turning back as long as the bjp is in a majority in parliament it's not turning back and the supreme court today has said parliament is free to make these decisions have you given up on democracy rajdeep uh, have you have you sort of uh, made peace uh, with the notion that the bjp will rule india forever uh, and that we will never have a government other than the bjp at the center I haven't made peace with that notion. Uh, I believe that governments come and governments go. Yes, today uh, the BJP reigns supreme. They have the upper hand. Uh, but uh, this won't be the first government to lose uh, an election when it does eventually happen. And who knows? I mean, uh, did you see uh, this day coming a few years ago? You didn't. Uh, so how do you know what the future has in store for us no i i uh, no one has any I'm, idea I'm what the future has to, in store omar abdullah to, i'm only discussing and, the present say that it's all over no no i i i know no one knows what the future holds i'm looking at it from the present you've had I'm a unanimous verdict the from the supreme I, court exactly. you've got a majority so government saying. which is uh, which is uh, today feeling validated by what the court has said so i have to look at the situation as it exists today sure and i'm looking at the situation as it existed in the past and as it existed today we've had unanimous judgments of the supreme court in the past as well mm -hmm. you've had governments with their own majorities in the past as well mm -hmm. so it is quite possible that this sort of a situation will 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 reverse uh, in the days to come so why would you expect me to give up and suggest that that what is what has happened today is is irreversible or irre irrevocable if the supreme court could change its mind between the sampath prakash judgment and today i'd like to assume that there is a possibility that we can perhaps uh, some future supreme court we can convince them or we can convince the rest of the country of our political arguments can I, i mean the bjp struggled for more than 50 years to get to where it has today uh, so i mean why would you expect us to give up our struggle we believe we are right the bjp believes it's right so fine we'll agree to disagree with each other can I? as far as as 370 being the root cause of terrorism is concerned mm -hmm. look you can you want six rajiv let me finish you can either blame pakistan or you can blame 370 If 370 was the root cause of terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir, then terrorism should have started in 1947, not in 1987. For 40 years prior to 87, you still had 370, but you had no terrorism. And even now, okay, so it's been four years. You've revoked Article 370, or you've hollowed it out. It still forms part of the Constitution, but you've hollowed it out. Does terror not exist in Jammu and Kashmir today? So, if 370 was the root cause of terror in Jammu and Kashmir, terror should have ended. Why is it that just day before yesterday we buried a, a brave police officer of JNK police? Why is it just days before that we've seen army officers killed? You've seen you've seen senior army officers killed in 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 encounters in places like Kokarnag. You've seen Rajouri uh, mm -hmm. uh, sort of go up again in in sort of in the clutches of of severe and and serious militant encounters. So let's not. I mean, either three seventy is to blame or Pakistan is to blame. I mean, I. Uh, tell oh, us which one it is okay uh, omar abdullah i want to uh, quote to you what uh, karan singh senior congress leader maharaja hari singh's uh, son has said today a section of people in jammu and kashmir who will be not happy with this judgment my sincere advice is they should accept the inevitable and they should accept the fact that now this has been done now my suggestion is they should turn their energies towards fighting the next elections fight the next elections and there is a promise also that not only will election be held soon but statehood will also be restored no your audio was crackling but look i have all all respect and regard for dr karan singh but look he's chartered his own course will charter will chart us if he has no love lost for his own uh, forefathers legacy uh, then there's nothing much i can say about that look i mean it's 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 pretty unfortunate that that dr karan singh in his own lifetime has seen jammu and kashmir dismembered a jammu and kashmir that was put together by his forefathers uh, it it wasn't put together by my forefathers the the map of erstwhile jammu and kashmir as it existed before 
uh, 5th August 2019 was a legacy of, of the royal family of, of Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, so, uh, I mean, if, if uh, he doesn't want to own that legacy or, or he's happy to see it, it uh, uh, sort of washed away, mm -hmm. then so be it. But uh, with, with all due respect to him, uh, he's, he's decided what he has decided. We will decide what we want to. And, Can I? Uh, and that's it. Now, as far as elections are concerned, mm -hmm. this fight wasn't about elections. We would have got our elections one way or the other. Uh, so, the, I mean, the Supreme Court has given a timeline. Fair enough. That's, that's something we can work towards. As far as statehood is concerned, again, it was a cop-out. Can I? Why, why, why was the, I mean, if the, if, the, if the Supreme Court could talk about a timeline for elections, why no timeline for statehood? Why at the earliest? What do you mean by at the earliest? At the earliest, uh, who is to decide at the earliest? At the earliest could be five years, 10 years, 15 years, depending upon the mood of the government at the center. I'm sorry. I mean, this, this uh, statehood should be restored at the earliest is, was just a cop-out by the Supreme Court.